back today with Cindy Baines, our director of the Reedsville Senior Center, or R-Care as it's called. Um, we're here today in the dance studio. Um, we've got an art exhibit going on by the local artist Mary Ryan. Um, you're surely welcome to come in and look at this artwork. Mary's a very talented artist. But I want to ask um, Cindy some questions today about R-Care. So when was R-Care built? Our care opened on February the 14th, 2017, so we're fixed to celebrate our another anniversary. We are almost back to pre-pandemic numbers, so things are looking up, and we're booming. So before our care was built, you guys operated out of the bottom of the Parks and Rec building, and how many people were members then? Uh, probably about 200, maybe active. We were, it was rough to get in, it had steps. We had some mold, other issues, so now we're about, uh, I just looked today, we're at 790 unduplicated folks who've come in here in the last six months. That's unduplicated, so that's pretty healthy numbers. Absolutely it is, yeah. So, and your numbers really skyrocketed when it first opened, did it not? They did. We yeah. were on a roll. Then pandemic put a little dent in things, but we're coming back now. Pandemic put a dent in a lot of things. It did. So. Um, so let's talk about next week on the 17th, you're going to be doing an open house and you've also got a program that's going to be happening for Black History Month. So tell us a little bit about that. I know the Reedsville Seniors Downtown Club was involved with that. That's correct. The uh, Downtown Senior Citizens Club, we've been their host agency for over 50 years now. And I asked them to take this project on and they jumped on it and they really worked hard. They've got a little skit slash play prepared to do and it's going to last maybe a little over an hour. They've worked hard on it and I think it's going to honor a lot of local citizens and I think a whole lot of people will be impressed with it. I think so too. The mayor was kind of giving us a little play as to what kind of things they were going to be covering and I think that's great. Um, you know, we have really made strides, especially with our council being a majority council of um, African American. It's, you know, Reedsville's come a long way. It has. I think uh, a lot of people are going to recognize some of the folks they're going to honor. A lot of them are going to be here. They've sort of broken down into eight categories with community and sports and religion. So a little bit of every, every area will be covered. Well, that's great. And while people are here, they can tour our care. Um, they can also tour Parks and Rec across the street, right down the street. Um, that will also be open for tours. But Cindy, let's talk about a little bit about what happens here at our care. Tell me what people do here. Who comes here and what do they do? Well, you're welcome to come here if you're at least 55 years of age. We sort of make a little bit of exception if you want to participate in senior games, you can come at 50. Some of our most popular programs are the fitness. We have several fitness classes. We also have a fitness center here that is free of charge. Folks come here to get help with Medicare. If you're confused about what, who you need, what company you need to go with, we also are all now doing taxes for free, not only for seniors, but for low income folks also. You can see an attorney here for free. You need to check out our website. We offer a whole lot of programs that people don't even know about. A lot of our men come and hang out and shoot pool. We also serve a meal here Monday through Thursday. So you're welcome to do that. We have classes, crocheting, knitting, painting. We have this art exhibit here on duty. We also have a lot of um, health-related classes that you can take, living healthy with diabetes, pretty much anything you want. If we don't have it, we'll try to help you find it. Well, I think you left out one important thing. Uh, your sports. So <clears throat> let's talk about that pickleball court over there. We have two pickleball <laughs> courts, as you know. Pickleball's the fastest growing sport still in the United States. I say it's a senior's crack. Once you play it, you're addicted. <laughs> we also have a huge cornhole league here. Fix the start in just a little while. Of course, shuffleboard's always been big and bocce. We do Tai Chi classes, that's really popular. Also a chair exercise for those who have trouble with mobility issues. And you have a fitness center. Fitness center free. Mm -hmm. Top of the line equipment, it's going to be hard to beat. Key word there being free. Free, absolutely <laughs> free. And so the other thing, you've got computer classes that you do. We've got a computer room. Um, you've got that huge dining room area that they serve the lunches in. And let's talk a little bit about the Leaf Center. So the Leaf Center is not actually our cares. It belongs to the Aging and Transit and Disability Services, but they offer adult daycare, correct? They do. As ADTS, uh, we sort of help each other out. We co 
sponsor programs whenever we can. Uh, sometime they'll come over and do little presentations for us and we'll try to help them out. When Santa Claus comes to see us, he also went to see them. It's probably one of the only facilities of its type anywhere around here, so if you need adult daycare, it's the place to start to look. Absolutely, and that is um, a very needed service. It People is. People don't really think about that, but if you are a caregiver and you need help um, during the day with your spouse, significant other, um, whatever, that, that's the adult daycare here is set up just for that. So it's a great, it's a great service that is offered. And we are, we think, one of the only senior citizen, citizens centers in the state that offers that. So it's a great thing. So everybody come on out next um, Friday. Um, it starts at 9. The tours start at 9. The program will be at 10 um, and runs for about an hour, Cindy says. They're going to have some food. Um, you'll be able to tour. Plus, you'll be able to go over to the Parks and Rec Center as well. So please join us.